Tableau 2020.4 is here with over 30 enhancements to help scale your analytics, making trusted data more accessible to everyone. Key new features include Tableau Prep Builder in the browser and multiple marks layer support for maps. Additionally, the resource monitoring tool for Tableau Server is now available on Linux. Let's take a look at these and several other key new features of Tableau 2020.4. Tableau Prep Builder in the browser allows you to prep your data from wherever you have access to a browser, create a new flow, and then connect to the data you wish to clean and shape. Along the way, let's explore another new feature of Tableau 2020.4. Tableau Prep Builder can now import, recognize, and export spatial data to extracts and published data sources, bringing spatial context into the data preparation flow for better analysis. We continue building out our flow by adding additional steps to clean, aggregate, pivot, join, union, or script our data. The Tableau Prep Builder capabilities of the desktop version are available to us here in a browser in Tableau Server and Tableau Online. We then add an output step. The output can be written to a database table or to a Tableau data source. In this example, we'll create a new Tableau data source. We publish our flow to save it. The flow contains all the steps we just defined. We then run the flow or schedule it to run using Tableau Prep Conductor. Once the flow has run, we can see the data source output it created. We can also edit the flow in the browser as needed. Enhance your geospatial analysis with multiple marks layer support for maps. You can now add unlimited marks layers from a single data source to your map visualization bringing multiple spatial layers and context together for better understanding and analysis. In this viz, the top marks layer displays the community centers. Underneath are the Boston neighborhoods and buildings. We can rearrange the marks layers to put the buildings on top of the neighborhoods. We can also hide the building's marks layer altogether and then easily bring it back with a single click. We can disable selection of both the buildings and neighborhoods marks layers so that only the community centers can be selected. If we remove the buildings and neighborhoods marks layers from the zoom extent, then resetting the map after zooming in will only zoom out enough to show all the community centers. Previously available for Windows only, the resource monitoring tool now provides agent-based monitoring of your Tableau server on Linux deployment as part of the server management add-on. Proactively monitor and troubleshoot server health with improved visibility into hardware and software performance. Select from two additional models in predictive modeling functions, regularized linear regression and Gaussian process regression, in addition to the default model of linear regression. Let's use the new block comments and calculations feature to add a multi-line comment about the predictive model we are using. Another new feature is date axis extension. It allows you to add customized time-based predictions in Tableau. Select from a pre-populated set of extension options or use the custom menu to select your own range of future values. There are several new web authoring enhancements to Tableau Server and Tableau Online. These features were previously only available in Tableau Desktop. Create extracts without leaving the browser. In the web authoring flow, you can now choose to extract your data sources to improve performance. Creators and explorers now have an easy way to create a set either from the data pane or visually via the tooltip command menu for quick analysis. In this example, we are selecting the top five customers based on profit, and then using the tooltip command menu to create a set containing just those customers. We rename our set to give it a meaningful name. There are a variety of ways we can make use of the set. For example, we can drag the set to color to show which members are in or out of the set. We can also filter the viz to show only the members of the set. Quickly make adjustments to your mark labels while web authoring. Customize and choose which marks to label in a visualization. First, choose to show mark labels. By default, all mark labels are displayed. If we change this to selected, then only the marks we select in the viz will have their labels displayed. 
Let's change this to highlighted marks. Now, when we highlight a category using the color legend, the mark labels for that category are displayed. When setting the marks to label to min-max, we must also specify the scope. In this example, where our viz has only one pane, only one max and one min are labeled. If we set the scope to line or pi, then each line's max and min value are labeled. We can also label the beginning and end of each line, or just the most recent values of each line. Let's set the marks to label option as selected. Call attention to marks of interest and identify important relationships in the data with highlight actions. We specify the source and target sheets as well as the fields to use for highlighting. We'll run our highlight action on select. Now when we click on a category in our line chart, the same category is highlighted in the tree map viz below. Let's add a category filter to our dashboard so that we can explore another new functionality. We can now choose to apply a filter to selected worksheets. If we apply our filter to our line chart only, then the categories we select in our filter will impact only the line chart. If we apply our filter to both the line chart and tree map, then the categories we select in our filter will impact both visits in our dashboard at the same time. That was a quick look at some of the over 30 enhancements in Tableau 2020.4. To learn more, please visit our new features hub, take our new feature spotlight e-learning course, or visit our Tableau help pages. Thanks for watching.